everyone welcome back so in this video we'll be talking about network security groups uh, which was created by default in the previous video so you can see it is uh, it is in the same resource group that we have uh, created so just click that so what is uh, you know the network security rules or the group so basically if you talk about network security rules it's a set of configuration uh, configurable settings that uh, define how traffic flows within your uh, virtual network and between your virtual network and external networks such as internet so these rules can be used to allow or deny traffic uh, based on criteria such as IP address, destination port, uh, protocol, and port number. So they are typically configured within the network security groups, uh, which is a logical container for network security rules that can be applied to multiple virtual machines or subnets. So you can see this is the rules that we have. So you can see we have inbound and outbound rules. Inbound. So what is an inbound role? So basically inbound in NSG is a traffic that is coming into the subnet or virtual machine from an external source. For example, if you have NSG attached to your uh, virtual network, the inbound traffic uh, would be traffic coming from the internet or uh, another network uh, trying to access the resources uh, within the virtual network. So inbound traffic can be filtered by uh, defining the inbound uh, security rules in NSG. On the other hand, if you talk about outbound traffic, uh, in NSG is a traffic that is leaving a subnet or a virtual machine and going to external destination. For example, if you have an NSG attached to the virtual machine, outbound traffic uh, would be any data the virtual machine is sending out to the internet or, in, or uh, the other network. So outbound traffic can be filtered by defining outbound uh, security rules in NSG. So this is the difference between these two. So you can see by default, we have a uh, few rules which have already uh, been created uh, for uh, security purposes in which uh, in the end deny all inbound traffic so by default everything will be denied if you don't uh, you know create any other rules so how to create this inbound rule so you have to just go to this under settings you have inbound rules and outbound rules so if you want to allow any other uh, services uh, to your virtual machine or uh, network so this uh, NSG can be created at uh, virtual machine level which is NIC or uh, you can also uh, create this NSG at uh, the network level so based on your uh, preference you can create that so so this is the different uh, you know how to add inbound rules so source IP and based on uh, uh, you know uh, based on your uh, requirement you can uh, add accordingly so if you click any and uh, the destination port so here you can also give the range for example let's say 1 to 100 so between those ports you can uh, allow the access or deny it so you can select either way and uh, coming to the name and coming to the priority so if that is less if you for example uh, the less the number the more the priority so for example if i uh, you know uh, click three, uh, 200 so this particular rule will be have more priority than 300. So it will be uh, in that uh, order. So one, two, so on. So if that is one, like it will be having the high priority. So you can add the description if you want and you can just click allow. So I'm just uh, using some random uh, rule and just click add. So you can see we have created. So which is an allow rule. So this is how uh, you can create an inbound and uh, outbound rule. Similarly, you will be uh, able to create the outbound rule. And the other thing is you have to associate uh, this NSG with your uh, network or you know virtual network or uh, the NIC in which it's already connected with our uh, NIC and uh, it will be applicable to that uh, machine. And you can also add uh, it to your subnets. So if you click here, uh, you can see we have our virtual network and uh, the default subnet that we have created so you can just click ok so it will be associated uh, with this particular NSG rules so this is how you can you know uh, create the NSG rules so now I just uh, delete uh, the one that I've created so this is how simple it is uh, to create uh, the rules so i hope you guys understood the concept of today's video which is network uh, security groups and how can we create the rules so if you like the video please click the like button below and if you want to subscribe to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thanks everyone